Here we go. Hi, Peter Charles here from for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to look at the uh, use of sinking lines when fishing for smallies. Often smallmouth are in fairly deep water. Uh, you can, you know, some, we don't always fish for them in rivers, we can fish for them in lakes as well. And often we have to really get down. And you're not going to be able to do that with a sink tip and you're not going to be able to do that with a floating line. If you want to get down, you need to use a full sinking line. So I'm going to get into it with this video on how to use a sinking line effectively. And more importantly, how to think about the relationship between the type of fly you're using and a sinking line. Because you can really, really change the depth in the presentation according to the type of fly you put on the end of a sinking line. It can make a huge difference. So we'll get into that. So let's see how it goes. So I'm out here on the Grand River. I've got my Airflow Streamer Max Short, which is a full sinking line with a floating running line. As you can see, the running line is floating in the water, which is what we want. And I'm fishing this uh, high drag rabbit strip wing fly, fair size, on my uh, Asquith six, 6 weight. This is a 200 grain line that I've got here. And um, I'm fishing it in a fairly uh, deep run and the thing to keep in mind is that when you are trying to fish a deep relatively fast run like this and uh, you are stripping a high drag fly like I'm using on the end of a sink tip guess what you're not down at all with luck you're down an inch or two I've actually seen it multiple times of people with sink tip lines and they think they're getting down and they're not anywhere near the fish. So uh, don't be uh, assuming that your sink tip is going to get a, a fly down when you're stripping line like I'm doing right now. Stripping a streamer and you think it's going to get down. Nope. Oh. Ooh, that felt like a good fish. So the important thing for river fishing when you're using something like this Airflow Streamer Max Short is that the running line floats. Because you don't want the running line sinking and hooking up on the bottom. Lake fishing, it doesn't matter. River fishing, it matters. If you're going to fish rivers, you want that running line to float like it's doing right now. Now, when I make my cast, I bring the head into the back of the guides, just pull it up nice and easily, roll it out, slip some line into the back cast, and away it goes. Simply enough. You can see I'm not working hard to get this line going. Very effective river fishing tool. Very, very effective. It will work in lakes. I've caught fish quite deep in lakes with this line. I've hit bottom in 22 feet of water with a highly weighted fly. So uh, it will get down if you have to. But its main advantage is ability to fish these kinds of conditions where you've got a deep run with plenty of current and uh, you want to keep your fly down, especially if you're using a, a high drag fly like I am today. This is a rabbit strip wing fly. There's plenty of, of um, drag. And if you're using a sink tip, that drag would just lift that fly right up. And it won't get down at all when you're stripping. Now, if I wanted to sink this line a little bit more, um, I, all I would have to do is uh, give it a few seconds, one or two seconds, three seconds countdown on the um, cast, and it will sink further. And I can, you know, sort of feel for the bottom, if you will. You can see how quickly I can get it on its way. I don't false cast uh, full sinkers if I can help avoid it. Once in a while you have to, but generally speaking, I am uh, just making a roll cast, get it up, and then I make one back cast and send it on its way. Okay, you lift it up. You make a roll cast, 
into your back cast on its way. One of the beauties of using a line that has only a 24 foot head is it gives you lots of line to strip back. If you use a long headed line, like say 40 foot line, you're doing some false casting to get it back out there. With this I don't have to. I mean it's a 24 foot line. I have no trouble whatsoever getting it out of the water. Roll cast it, slip some line into the back cast, and then uh, cast away. One nice thing about full sinkers, they penetrate the wind rather well, so you don't have to worry about headwinds as much as you would with a, uh, a floating line. Very nice when you're dealing with a windy day. So I've switched my brown trout weemer, which is a, a fly that penetrates a lot better than that uh, rabbit strip fly. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful uh, to keep it off bottom. I've had a couple of hits today, but I haven't hooked up anything yet. The problem with that rabbit strip fly I was using earlier it has a long wing and sometimes fish grab the wing. So as you get into frog water, just lift the rod tip up. It'll keep the fly off the bottom. So you can see fishing a full sting. Oh, that was a nice fish. Shoot. Oh, that was a good grab. Oh, that's three I've missed. Finally, I got one. I was getting fed up of missing these fish. Nope, he got off. He was a little guy anyway, so I'm not gonna sweat it. I mean, he was just a little guy, but he was really fighting hard. Seems that uh, as I've moved into the slower water, I'm getting uh, more hits, so they're probably down in this end. So when you're working with a full sinker in slower water, you've got to move the fly faster, and you've got to um, keep the uh, rod tip up as you get close to yourself. Well, we've got one fish on camera that actually uh, hooked up. We missed a couple of others. But you can see that even though I'm fishing frog water now, I can keep my uh, fly off the bottom. Don't have to snag up if I'm careful. But I am get to really fish that deeper water way out there and hook fish. And that's uh, the key with the full sinker is to get your fly down where the fish are. And if you match your fly to the current speed and the depth of the river, you can avoid snagging. And you just manage your rod tip when you get close to you, so that way you don't end up hitting bottom all the time. See, like I'm not hitting bottom at all here. It's only when I get close to myself and the, uh, the fly is no longer in current. It's more almost like a, I'm into frog water, so I just lift the rod tip and I'm a, I don't have to worry about hitting bottom. Oh, I had one on. I had a little guy on. <laughs> I tried to roll cast it out and there was a little guy on the end of it. So there you go. A uh, simple tutorial on sinking lines in a river. Make sure that your sinking line has a floating running line. That's important. Uh, short heads are better than long heads. And um, make sure your fly is appropriate to the job. Don't use too heavy a fly. Uh, if uh, the current and the depth doesn't require it, but you can get a hell of a lot deeper if you use a weighted fly that will sink well and penetrate well. By the same token, you can keep it off bottom by using an unweighted fly that has a lot of drag. So just by matching up your fly uh, and your line to the conditions, you can uh, manage a lot of uh, different circumstances with the same line. So this is the Airflow Streamer Max Short. It's 200 grains, so it's considered appropriate for a six weight. I'm using my G Luma six weight Asquith, and as you can see, it handles it just fine. You can see I have no trouble picking it out, no trouble casting it. I'm right into that fast current. Those are about 70 foot cast, maybe a little bit further. No problem at all. Well, I think that'll do it.
fish this spot out pretty good. Okay, you can see it's not that big a deal to cast a sinking line for smallmouth. Uh, they're not hard to get out of the water once you do it right. The key here, I was using a, a sinking line that had a floating running line, which is very important for river views. And uh, the uh, fly line only had a 26 foot head. I know I said 24 in the movie, it's 26. Uh, and that short head did two things for me. Easy to get out of the water, and also gave me a lot of stripping space because fish can hit quite close. So you put those two things together, that short head sinker was a great way to go. It's the Airflow uh, Streamer Max short. And it's my go-to sinking line for river and lake use. And I've, as I said in the video, I have hit bottom in 22 foot of water with that line and a uh, weighted fly in fishing Lake Erie. So you can get down with them when you really have to. So if you're having problems catching fish because your flies aren't getting down, give up on the sink tips, give up on the long leaders and just get yourself a full sinker. Stop fighting a losing battle. I mean, there's a reason why they exist. There's a reason why they're popular over in Europe, uh, you know, because they work and they're not that hard to use. So give them a try, cheers. There we go. Just that question. Yep. Another.